Yo, what's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. Because today we're going to be talking about what is the perfect beat of all time in hip hop? What would you consider? is the perfect beat. Now we got so many beats from so many producers out there. We got beats from Swiss beats, ski beats, direct beats. <laughs> what would you consider was the perfect beat? Now, to me, the perfect beat was, this is it, what? Lucini porn from the sky, let's get rich, what? <laughs> Camp Lowe's Lucini. I don't know if you know, you guys are familiar with this group, but the beat of that song to me was phenomenal. Like when that song first came out, I remember sitting in my bedroom listening to Hot 97 and then that song comes along and I'm like, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> it was like goosebumps started coming on me. Like I was being taken to another world. It was a fantastic beat. I think Ski Beats made it ski beats created that track and i think he used i think he said he used the mpc 3000 um correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's what he said he used on that track but it was fantastic and yes it was a sample and they took the you know the horns and all the instrumentation from the sample but it was just how it was put together and I, also the mcs flowing on the beat like um geechee suede and Sonny Chiba, the way they, they was going in on that track was phenomenal. So it was just all these ingredients put together to make something fantastic. Now, I have other perfect beats. <laughs> and one was, might be a little controversial here, but Hard Knock Life. Oh, man. The 45 King? Oh, man, did he go in with the Hard Knock Life. I mean, when I first heard Hard Knock Life, I was I was stunned. I, I was frozen for a minute just listening to the radio. Because, you know, we you know, if you're an 80s kid, you you grew up watching Annie, you know, thinking that you was with her and her crew running away from all the bad guys. <laughs> you you pictured yourself there. So for somebody to sample the the theme song, make it dope. <laughs> and you know put it on on a rap song was was, was incredible and the funny thing is jay-z didn't even really rap hard on it like it wasn't like he was going in with the lyrical spiritual on it he he really chilled on it lyrically i think some of the verses he only dropped like four bars or eight bars in some of the verses it was almost like he was letting the beat do its thing. <laughs> it, it was almost like he realized he had something special here and he was just gonna let the beat work its magic. And, and you know, the crazy thing is, 45 King said a lot of people passed up on the beat. He said, LL Cool J passed up on it. Queen Latifah passed up on it. You know, a lot of folks passed up on this beat, but I'm telling you when Jay got it and what he did with it, was incredible. So that to me was probably the second top perfect beat. And it wasn't so much about the sonics, even though the arrangement of the beat was great and everything was great, but it was just the concept. I think that really just blew me away. Perfect beat number three, Kanye West through the wire. <laughs> I don't know. But to me, this beat was an amazing beat. And when his first album came out and they were, you know, promoting the album and this was the main song, this was the theme song of this album, if you would say, you know what I mean? This was the main single. And Through the Wire was phenomenal. It was a phenomenal track. The, the funny thing is, you know, I heard the original growing up, you know, the Shaka Khan song, Through the Wire. <laughs> I heard the original growing up, but, and to tell you the truth, he didn't really veer too much from what was actually going on on the original. But this this track, Through the Wire, was the perfect example. It, it was like the perfect example of how to chop a sample. 
<laughs> you know, how to chop a sample, like how to chop a sample beat. The way he chopped the sample and put everything together is what made this thing incredible. I mean, as he's rapping, the, the certain parts come in at just the perfect time and whatever equipment they use to run this thing through, the sonics of it was fantastic. So Through the Wire was, to me, the third top hip hop beat. Now there's some honorable mentions like Shook Ones Part 1 and 2. <laughs> you know, um, Pete Rock, Reminisce Over You, um, Mass Appeal, Premiere, uh, almost everything RZA ever created. <laughs> there are definitely honorable mentions in my dome, but to me, those were three beats that stood out to me in uh, the hip hop space. So what would you say was the perfect hip hop beat that you, that you heard, that you feel is the numero uno perfect hip hop beat? Or if not the perfect one, at least definitely up there. Let me know in the comments section. So this is your boy Direct, AKA Native Shades reminding you to like and subscribe. And I'm signing off.